Oh my god, that is freaking huge! Good morning guys. So I'm starting this vlog off um, making dinner. <laughs> it's morning, actually it's 12 o'clock. Um, but I'm putting some chicken in the crock pot and it takes a few hours to make when you put it in the crock pot. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a second. I wanted to use some bell peppers, but this bell pepper is kind of... The onion that I use, I, I like to get the chopped, these chopped onions that are already like pre-chopped and you just keep them in the freezer. So, I'm, like I said, I'm cooking some barbecue chicken. I'm gonna... I put some, um, I put seasoning on them. This is so cold. I should have rub the seasoning on before I put the onion and bell pepper on there because it's really cold. Just use this one since it's open first and just basically just pour all of the barbecue sauce on it. All right, and I'm just gonna leave that in there for three hours, three or four hours. I, if I had gotten up earlier, I would have put it on low and like put it for eight hours, but that didn't happen, so it never does. Anyway, so today's agenda is just to, um, like I mentioned in my last vlog, um, I'm actually going back to work, um, which is crazy. Um, it's been a nice little break um, in between, like, you know, just chilling, like, during the holidays and stuff. But I am kind of ready to go back to work, but I really didn't need the break. It was a lot. Last year was a lot uh, mentally, uh, just, you know, being away from my family, not really being able to see them, being deployed. Um, and I'm happy that I'll be able to work like near my house. I don't have to leave, you know, Kenny. Um, so that's good. Um, what else to update? Our engagement photos are coming up pretty soon. I'm really excited about that. Oh yeah, so I was actually thinking I was gonna do, uh, maybe upload a little bit more during the week. Um, I know I did a survey like a month ago or so, um, asking like, would you rather me upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays? And I kind of got like a half and half kind of like, half and half mix of like people that wanted me to do both. Um, so, or you guys know what I mean? Like it was kind of a half and half kind of thing. And I think I'm gonna maybe do the Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I was thinking like for a month, like kind of like Vlogmas, I'll like upload a vlog every day, um, but maybe just do it like mo Monday through Friday. Um, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm thinking about doing like, just doing like uploading Monday through uh, Friday, but the vlogs are always gonna be like delayed. Like this vlog, I'm filming like on a, what's today? Honestly, I have no idea what the day is, but it'll be uploaded like a week later. So it's not like in real time. Um, and obviously I'll have like little videos in between. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing, but we'll, we'll see. Um, but anyway, so today's agenda. I've got to finish up some videos. What is that under the... And I'm gonna show you guys our new TV. I did mention I was gonna uh, reveal it um, in this vlog, so. All right, so I got that video and it's going to be live today. Now I'm indulging for a little bit because I have been, Kenny and I have been on this health kick, and once in a while I will enjoy a treat. I'm going to enjoy some Oreos. And let's see, I think I'll have one, two, I'll have four Oreos. I think that's good. Usually Kenny and I would literally devour, like devour. Oh, I can't close that. Devour a pack of Oreos, like family size pack of Oreos. And yeah, that's just not, not the best. I'm just gonna do a little milk. But Kenny Bear has lost like almost 10 pounds, 11 pounds now. I'm so proud of him. You guys, look at this chicken. It looks amazing. Let me get this out of the... Oh my god, this looks so good. And it's like falling off the bone. Wow. That literally took three hours. Just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's cook up some rice. And I'm going to roast some broccoli in the oven. And dinner will be ready. 
So I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but Amanda got me this for Christmas. Is, I'm gonna try to see if, if I can, okay, wait, can you see? I'm gonna see yeah. if I can find a better like resolution picture. Cause she even said, she's like, I don't know why it turned out so weird. You probably can't really tell in this, but um, yeah, it's a little weird. Like the, the uh, it's like sharpened. Like really sharpened. Anyway, so she got it me. This was like one of my presents for Christmas that she got me. It's so cute. I love how it says Bessie's here. This is from when we were in California last year. And this is the first photo to go in our house. And I think I'm gonna put it in here. Um let's just put it there, maybe. So much little doodads in here I need to get rid of. This right here, she got me weeks until Mr. and Mrs. I haven't even like done it yet, but um, and then on the oh, on the back it says days until um, that. Actually, I have actually I actually have no idea. Um, so I actually have no idea like the weeks or the days yet. I just haven't really kept up with it, but eventually I will get onto that. I need to send out our. Well, we do have our engagement photos coming up soon. So once we get that out, I'll probably get more excited because you know everybody's gonna know, um, like, you know, the date and all that stuff. Um, just for future reference, I do not plan on like sharing on YouTube or anything like that, um, like our wedding date, ugh, our wedding date or location or anything like that. Um, yeah, just for privacy reasons and all that jazz. Literally, like, most of my family doesn't even know the date right now, so. But you guys will know soon enough. Um, I probably won't even share, like, when we get married right away. Just because I just want it to be special and something for my family and friends, close friends. But some of you guys will probably know before my some family, because, not to be shady, but there's family. Oh, I don't know why I did that. About to go run a quick errand. Guys, I know I say this every vlog, but are my do my glasses look crooked? Like I sat on them, and they just don't look the same to me, which is kind of depressing because I can never keep straight glasses for the life of me. Okay, I put this on four hundred instead of three fifty. So oh, they seem to be be doing well. Anyway. I gotta run a quick errand, but before that, I know I said I was gonna show you all, dark, sorry. I was going to show you guys the new TV. I never opened the blinds today in this room. I've been in here working all day. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is our new TV. Guys, it is freaking huge. Literally our old TV probably came to like here. And it looks like so small, but this is a 55 inch TV. Huge. Literally when I, when he was like, Kenny was like, um, so I have a friend that is selling a TV. Like we, we've been looking for a TV for a while. We were looking on Facebook sales to get one for a good deal. Cause we, we didn't want to spend too much money, you know, on a brand new TV. And we just never kind of, like I found, I would find deals, but someone would get the TV before, you know, we were able to. Um, and like I said, we just didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a brand new TV. Um, and we're just like really frugal in that way. We don't really spend, we make big purchases only when necessary. And it's like the only like, option that we have, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, yeah, so he had a friend that was like selling a 55 inch TV. And I'm thinking in my head, like there's, is that even big enough? Like how big is our TV? And I'll show you guys our old TV. We actually were going to put it here. We put it here. It looks so small. So we just left this TV there because it's bigger. Um, but just for reference, this is the old TV. And it looks pretty big. Like, it's a pretty good size TV. But compared to the 55 inch, it's nothing. So I was like, I don't really know if it's going to be big enough. You know, he brings it home. And I'm like, oh my God. That is freaking huge. <sighs> Literally huge so that's our new tv and we got it for an e an amazing literally amazing deal like this would never happen that tv is probably worth 500 dollars, and we got it i'm not gonna say exactly because it's like 
<laughs> I don't know I don't I just don't want to say it I guess but um y'all it was dirt cheap like actually if someone makes a guess in the comments how much we paid for this I will say it in the next vlog but guys it is dirt cheap <laughs> literally dirt cheap so um, I'm really thankful for that I always think I always like to say like good things come to those who wait and we waited and waited and waited for like literally months like literally a year uh, we've been looking for a TV um, we were gonna look at for once for some for Black Friday you know it just didn't work out but God had other plans so we got our literally our dream TV um, I wish we get mounted on the wall but once we move like into our house and stuff um, we'll be able to do that but um yeah and then we've got this one and then we've got the other one that once we get a um, dresser to go in that room over there um, We'll sit it on top of there and that will be the guest room TV, which is really exciting because I hate it when his mom comes over and she has to like chill on the couch because she likes to watch TV and she doesn't get to stay in the guest room. So now she has a TV. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Go run my errand real quick and come back. Oh, where's my purse? I need my purse. Hiya guys, it's the next day and I the figure I just combined today and tomorrow's vlog or yesterday and today's vlog, but I'm at Mickey D's, which I have not been in in a long ass time, but I'm so hungry and this is like the only thing that's like nearby where I'm at, so McDonald's it is. All right, so I'm back home. This is, let's turn that down a notch. Back home in the office slash guest room. And that McDonald's was not worth it. The, fr the fries were soggy and just really disappointing. Just really disappointing. About to do my skincare. I took a shower and all that stuff. And do my skincare and edit this vlog that's gonna go out. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my skincare lately. It's been a mess, like literally a mess. So I think the next time I'm gonna do something, I'm probably gonna like research some really good skincare regimens and just have like maybe two different ones. So like when my skin gets used to that one, I can switch over to the other one and then like you know keep switching it because. My skin has like a tendency to like it'll work really well with something and then it just till it doesn't so recommendations for skincare let a girl know because i would like that i was going to my um facialist i'm gonna start going back again i just haven't because i've been so busy like with work and stuff like when i was at work and i just never went back to her but um, now that I'll be going back to work close to home pretty soon, I am definitely going to hit her up. And it, But really, the only reason why I didn't go is because every time the girl that I like, she's always booked. So, But she recommended me this um, Clear Skin Willow Bark Booster Serum by Eminence Organic Skin Care. Hope I said that right. But I got this from Marshalls. This is the Valjean Labs Hydrate with hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. And I just like it because it makes my, um, I like to use it in my makeup. It just makes it like not as thick. But it's also really nice to use with a thick serum, like a thicker serum. So right now my skincare, my skincare routine is like in limbo. So yeah. Anywho. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, guys. I'm going to go edit and listen to the podcast. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.